Question number two it says count the number of roots W of the equation z to the power 2019 minus 1 equals 0 over complex numbers such that mod of W plus 1 should be greater than or equal to root 2 plus root 2. Now we know that z is 1 to the power 1 upon 2019. So it simply means it is 2019th root of unity. So any 2019th root of unity is of the form a to the power iota 2 pi k upon 2019 so this equation will have 2019 roots so suppose we have this w which is e to the power iota 2 pi k and 2019 now it says mod of w plus 1 should be greater than or equal to 2 plus root 2 and whole root we can write this w as e to the power iota 2k pi upon 2019 plus 1 and it should be greater than or equal to this is 2 and we can write root 2 as 2 cos pi by 4. Now here what we'll do is we'll take e to the power k pi upon 2019 common. So then we can write mod of e to the power iota k pi upon 2019 into e to the power iota k pi upon 2019 and then plus e to the power minus iota k pi upon 2019 and it should be greater than or equal to if we will take 2 common we will get 1 plus and we can write this as 2 cos square pi by 8 minus 1 so here 1 and 1 it will cancel now modulus of e to the power iota theta is simply 1 and this is e to the power iota theta plus e to the power minus iota theta so it is cos theta plus iota sin theta plus cos theta minus iota sin theta so its imaginary part will cancel then we can write this as 2 mod cos k pi upon 2019 it should be greater than or equal to 2 cos pi by 8 so we'll cancel this 2 with 2 since cos is a decreasing function so we'll cancel cos with cos we can write mod of k pi upon 2019 it should be less than or equal to pi upon 8 so here pi and pi it will cancel then we'll get this condition as which is mod of k should be less than or equal to 2019 divided by 8. Now 2019 divided by 8 is some 252.375. So this k it will lie between minus 252.375 to 252.375. So we'll just have to count number of integral values in this interval so number of integral values in this interval will be 2 into 252 and then we'll also have k equals 0 which is 1 so it should be 4 0 5 plus 1 so it is 505 so number of roots w of this equation which satisfies this inequality is 505 now the second question it is fairly simple so we are given this equation which is a to the power x and we'll write this as 2 to the power 3x plus 3 to the power 3x upon 2 to the power 2x into 3 to the power x plus 2 to the power x into 3 to the power 2x and this is 7 by 6. We'll divide everything with 3 to the power 3x. So if we'll divide everything with 3 to the power 3x, we can write this as 2 upon 3 to the power 3x plus 1 and it will be 2 upon 3 to the power 2x plus 2 upon 3 to the power x and this value should be 7 by 6. Now what we'll do is we'll let 2 upon 3 to the power x as some y. So it will be 
y cube plus 1 upon y square plus y and this is 7 by 6. Now we can write this as y plus 1 and then y square minus y plus 1 and then y into y plus 1 and this is 7 by 6. So one of the solution is value of y is minus 1. Since this y is an exponential function, it cannot take a negative value. So that means value of y cannot be minus 1. So then we'll have this condition which is 6y square minus 6y plus 6. And this is equal to 7 by, so we can write this as 6y square 13y and then plus 6 equals 0. So we'll factorize, we'll write 6y square minus 9y minus 4y plus 6 equals 0. So here it will be 3y and then 2y minus 3 and then minus 2 will be 2y minus 3. So value of y is either 2 by 3 or 3 by 2. Now we'll put the value of y. So we'll put value of y as 2 by 3 then we'll get 2 by 3 to the power x as 2 by 3 in which case we'll get the value of x as 1 and if we'll take 2 by 3 to the power x as 3 by 2 so it'll simply be 2 by 3 to the power minus 1 and then value of x will be minus 1 so answer to this question is x is plus or minus 1